baby. It's a baby baby. Yes, it is. Not a big grown up baby, but a baby baby. Yeah. Oh, we got all three of them. Come on, Brody. Wanna come play? You gonna come play? Bring the truck with you. Lauren, Lauren, Mommy, she's in the kitchen. Mommy, Mommy, wait, 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 Mommy, it's a baby. It's a baby. I know exactly what they look like. It's a baby. Hi, sweetheart. Hi, sweetheart. Brody's like, okay. Who's that? Who's that? I know it. That was a great invention, whoever made those. That's not Lauren, that's Brody. Can <laughs> No, no, thank you. That's Brody. Hi, Brody. Hi, baby. There you go. Just call them babies. Just call them babies. You're figuring out that it's you that's doing the bouncing, aren't you, sweetheart? <laughs> I think she might be ready to throw up a little bit, is yeah, she, 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 she's, she's, she's too bouncy. I know, I can feel her breathing and it's in your tubes, isn't it, darling? Yeah, don't bounce too much then if you just ate. Yeah, tell Grandpa take it a little oh, easy. Yes, yeah, yeah, sweetheart. Hi, sweetheart. Hi, honey. <laughs> Something gonna come up? Huh? Mm -hmm. Aww. Aww. Oh, she's wearing me out. My arms are aching. And my arms are aching. Your legs are stronger than my arms. Yes, they are stronger than my own. Yeah, it's not the time to do it right now. I'm sure I will take a lot of positives from it. I take a lot of good learning experiences from it as well. So I think we do that with the coach all the time. <laughs> Hello, sweetheart. Hello, sweetheart. Hello, darling. What can I go with <laughs> You're trying there, aren't you? You're trying there, aren't you? Do your You're trying. I don't think kids are affected by the type of things that go on. They're resilient. You're trying there, aren't you, sweetheart? Oh, I remember getting 
Louisiana you can smell them a mile, mile away, yeah? We yep. have the attention to well, I never had to worry about killing the smoke. He, <laughs> he killed every damn one of them. And other places where there are I skipped most of them, but yeah. he killed them. It's so starting to get a little fuss. Oh. Oh. Honey, honey, honey. We had some of them one time. We dug out the den of them. And, uh, of course, at the same time, my brother had swiped the pack of the cigarettes from some guy that put a grocery sack into his, his uh, car. Of course, nobody had a pickup in them days, you know. And he put this grocery sack in there and on top of that with the pack of the cigarettes and they swiped that. Well, then we were going out to smoke these cigarettes in the meantime well we seen this here one skunk run into a hole so then we had to manage to get that skunk out I'll tell you what if we didn't stink like hell for about a week <laughs> my mother had us take us two boys taking baths at the water tank where the horses drank it, you know. Yeah. And oh, that was cold. We <laughs> <laughs> just couldn't hardly stand the you know. Well, why the old Jim Babcock, I'll bet he didn't have to worry about going to the horse tank. <laughs> and the house that they lived in was a sod house. And I can always remember this when I went over one time and Slept. Hell, stuff run over your body. You didn't know whether it was a snake or a, or a whatever it might be, you know, because, you know, it's sod. That's where they live. There wasn't too many sod houses in there, but then that was the one up that Babcock lived in. Fellini was calling timeout first. Yeah, Les was the last guy to know at that time. <laughs>